Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from www.charofahealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your monthly astrological reading. This is for Taurus. And um, I'm going to be starting off with your finances, then moving on to your work. Your No. I'm going to be starting with your finances, then moving on to your love cards, whether you're coupled or single, and then I'm going to be moving on to your spirituality cards. And then I'm going to pick a small card from this deck, which is the Healing Angel cards, which is by Tony Carmine Seleno. And your first card to show up for your finances is the Four of Pentacles with Judgment. And the Four of Pentacles is about um, saving money. It might be a case of you're really cutting back, maybe you're just looking at your finances in a more serious way. It could even mean that maybe you stop socializing and doing certain things, uh, maybe going out to eat and stuff like that, so that you can just save on money. So um, it could be that kind of thing. With the judgment card, it's almost like the judgment card makes me think that there's some sort of decision that has been reached in terms of your money. Um, maybe again, it could be that decision to save more money, but it also it could be a decision where um, you might even be considering investing your money in something. Um, the judgment card as well sometimes for me can represent some kind of finalized news or something coming in. So it almost could be that if you have been in a legal situation, it could be that that is the judgment that is coming through. Like, um, you know, a, a, a judgment is coming through that is going to be maybe affecting your finances in some kind of way. Maybe that's how it's showing up for some people. But it's almost like the judgment card really represents to me something that is kind of being finalized um, because it's kind of like the, the uh, death and rebirth kind of card so I don't know if it's the case maybe for some people the judgment could also represent um, have again having some kind of finalized news come through so for some people it could even mean that you find out that maybe if you've been applying for work or something you find out that you do actually get a job this week or like there's some kind of message or something that's going to be coming through to you well not this week but this month in general I mean but um there's something that is coming through to you some kind of news that is going to be coming to you that is going to be affecting your finances that is going to be coming in the month of March and I feel like again because it's represented by judgment it could be something that maybe you've actually been waiting on but I feel like it's going to be a judgment that actually um I don't feel like it's going to be a negative thing because obviously if you was dealing with a court situation sometimes a judgment can mean that you have to pay out but then at the same time actually looking at the cards now <laughs> I just said that and then something just said to me when I look at these cards I'm actually thinking to myself that these cards actually could represent a judgment where you have to pay out and you don't want to actually because with the four of pentacles like again like i was saying that's hoarding money saving money not wanting to give money and then you have it with the judgment card coming through so in some cases it could be a case of maybe the judgment means that you do have to pay out money that you actually don't want to have to pay um but then at the same time it could be saying that um uh, some kind of judgment comes through again that actually could create maybe even a different kind of opportunity for you or a new kind of opportunity for you and um, when I look at the order of these cards that's kind of more how I'm feeling like it's coming through like there's some kind of new opportunity that could be coming through for you that you may hear about hear about from someone again it could be a case of maybe you've been going to interviews and things like that and you get a final confirmation that maybe you have the job and um, like that kind of thing but there's definitely some kind of um, very significant news that is going to be um, that you're going to receive in the month of March um, concerning finances. So, for those of you that are in relationships, you have the Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. Um, these cards together. These cards together, they kind of make me think. The Ten of Swords isn't generally a card that I like to see in terms of relationships because it can represent a situation where a relationship is ending. 
but I feel like when the Ten of Swords shows up, it probably wasn't the best of relationships in the first place, and it probably needed to end, because it's almost like it's probably a situation that was either causing you a lot of headache, or a situation where this person may have betrayed you in some kind of way. Um, to me, the swords can represent maybe harsh communication between you and somebody else. Uh, so, yeah, to me, it's like, if, if that applies to you, like, if it's a relationship that is ending, but then the relationship wasn't that great in the first place, then, you know, honestly, you know, it's kind of like you have to let it go. But the Ten of Swords is difficult because it's a case of sometimes it kind of shows up where the person doesn't really want to let the relationship go. But it's almost like the relationship just really, it just served its time kind of thing. Like maybe you guys was trying to make it work, trying to sort it out, but it just sort of died, you know, kind of thing. But, um... Or, or maybe you was the one like making the effort but the other person wasn't like it can be that kind of thing but it's like it's it's sort of like the curtains have closed on that situation um with the three of pentacles showing up before it though um to me the three of pentacles again can represent a situation where maybe you've tried to work on on a relationship because to me like the three of pentacles almost represents a labor of love where maybe you would have tried your best to work on a situation um you know and, and it could have been an, an an effort that you made willingly you know um just trying to build on things trying to make the relationship more stable but the thing that kind of gets to me is Sometimes when I see freeze in a relationship situation, it can also represent a third party being in the relationship or third party causing issues in a relationship. The Three of Pentacles classically isn't the card that I that would like would bring that to mind like instantly for me. Um but then at the same time, I don't know why, but when I look at this card combination, it's it's that's just kind of what's coming to mind. That it could have been a situation where maybe somebody else has kind of trying to trying to try to be involved in things but then what the message that i really feel is coming through with the three of pentacles is saying that maybe this was a situation where you did try to work things out you did try to do your best but then it's like with the ten of swords it's like almost like you're you you did your best but then it was it ended up in failure kind of thing but what it's saying is is that don't look at it like it's a failure don't look at it like it's um you know like you know, oh, I made all this effort and then it didn't work out because it this situation had to be released. That's what it is. To me, when the Ten of Swords shows up, it's saying that this situation had to be released. You wasn't prepared to release it in the beginning. That's the reason why, like, as you can see, this guy, he's, like, ended up on the ground because he's sort of worked himself to death, just trying so much. But it's like, you know, he had to sort of give in in the end. Like, he had to just... Because he was just too tired and too exhausted to keep going. So, it's like he had to just give in to it all. But, um, and if that's the case, then just let it be. And it might be a challenge kind of moving on. But, again, it's like, it, it, this had to sort of happen. Kind of, you know, that's kind of what the card's saying. And for those of you that are single, you have the King of Cups. And the Six of Swords. So, for those of you that are single, <clears throat> the King of Cups could be somebody that comes into your life, actually. You know, the King of Cups can represent a Cancer, Pisces, or um, Scorpio. So, with the Six of Swords, it kind of represents a time where things can become better for you. Um, it also could represent, because, you know, you can see she's in a boat, it can be travelling towards somebody else. Um, I said travelling towards somebody, but then when I look at these cards together, it's kind of looking like the King of, of Cups, he's kind of looking at the Six of Swords and she's sort of moving away. So, I don't know if for some of you guys, this might be somebody that you're speaking to or in contact with, but maybe they're at a distance from you. Or maybe it's a case of you're the one that's moving away from them. Um, but either way, I don't feel like it's a negative thing. Maybe you're moving away because you have, you know, other obligations and things like that. 
or you know the six of of swords could represent moving into a sort of a different situation in a new direction because you're trying to make things better for yourself so um it's almost like the six of swords could represent a person that is um you know that migrates from one country to another uh because maybe their you know their country is going through you know is war torn something like that like it's almost like escaping like one situation that could have been either sort of dangerous or just wasn't the best environment for you and moving into a better environment so maybe in your case it could be that maybe that's an ex that's what you're kind of going through and maybe this king of cups is somebody that you've either been talking to or maybe you've met along the way like since you've been going through that process but it might even mean that because you have to sort of move into a different situation maybe you're just moving away from them where they are but it doesn't mean i guess that you guys probably still can't chat and still can't you know get to know each other or be friends or anything like that but i just feel like there's there's probably some kind of potential love interest that is around you but i kind of feel like in the month of march um again there might be this distance between the two of you but i don't think it's a negative thing i think again like it's just something maybe that you've had to just do for yourself um and the King of Cups can be a pretty nice guy, you know, it can be a guy that's quite sensitive, can be quite romantic, quite sentimental, um, a caring kind of person. So, you know, even if it didn't necessarily work out to be a relationship, like the King of Cups could be somebody that turns out to be like a good friend or something like that as well. If like a relationship just, you know, couldn't really come about between the two of you, maybe because of the distance or for other purposes. So yes, those are for the singles and for the spiritual cards, you have the strength card. The strength card has shown up quite a few times in the readings um, for March from quite a few signs and it, uh, it showed up with the Knight of Swords. I like these cards together because it's like almost saying like spiritually like you, <laughs> you might be on the warpath. But not in a bad way, you know, not in a like a temperamental angry way, but it's almost like you're you just want to put yourself out there and you're prepared to put yourself out there and you just you don't care about what other people think, you don't care about other people's judgments or decisions. It's like you're doing what is necessarily that is necessary for you and you have the strength, you have the ability to just go for it. And the knight of swords is showing that you are that the knight on that horse, like you are just eager to just just ride and just go and and um and you know the knight of swords also represents our intellect our communication so you might be finding that maybe you uh, you you're being very honest with people very open with people like you're not holding back in terms of your opinions or your 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 viewpoints and um and i almost feel that you know the with with the strength card is it's, it's also about what it is that you need to do for yourself what it, what it is that is important for you and it, it seems that in the month of march you're not going to be afraid to go after what it is that you you truly feel that is you're deserving of or what is necessary for you and um the only thing I would say with the knight of swords is it, it you might find that you might get into maybe disagreements with other people but i feel like with the strength card you're really going to be able to hold your own and it's almost like you're not going to give in to other people um but the only thing i would say is try not to be um try not to be argumentative or be uh aggressive that's the, what i would say because i kind of feel like that's something that could come about as well like just try not to be kind of argumentative or aggressive with people because i do think that this is a good energy that you have but at the same time i feel like if it, it if it kind of goes to the extreme it can turn into that that kind of thing as well and that's not so much what you want especially you know engaging with people and stuff like that but um but yeah, all in all, they're pretty good cards. And what I like as well is the little card that showed up for you, the um, angel one, is courage, which really ties in with the strength card. And it says, "We have you have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. 
So this is almost like a confirmation that if there's something that you really want to do and it seems that there really is because that's why you have the strength card is saying that you have the strength to really go for what it is that you really want. And again, with the Knight of Swords, you have that level of, of um, sort of fast moving energy to just, to just go and just, you know, use your intellect to just get to where you want to be. So it's saying, you know, whatever that is for you, that your angels are supporting you in that because you do have the courage to be able to see things through. So I'll see you guys. Bye.